outside and we're gonna play with the villages over the villa while the village and uh, I got my team here they're always rooting me on telling me go bog go bog so I go and I dig so today this is my plan so we have this hill here and uh, we're gonna get rid of it and I terraformed, this was all joining together, so I terraformed this, so it joins up with that hill over there, kind of looks nice, let the grass grow in and stuff, And but this hill over here, I'm going to get rid of it, and the village and some of those trees I'm going to get rid of, and I'm going to rebuild them a new village, one that's a little bit closer, um, and a village that they could be proud of because I destroyed, I let them be destroyed. I neglected them and I'm a bad king. But that's okay. I will rebuild them a new village and bring them back to life. You watch. So today is the day where we dedicate it to them. And also because I need food. Um, I'm running out of food so it's kind of like a selfish act of kindness. But it's it's an act of kindness, regardless. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get this up and running and start chopping away at this. And uh, I got myself a unbreaking efficiency three, and yeah, that's my tool. And I'm gonna start doing this. And when I'm done and all that, and everything's nice and level. I'll be back and we'll talk about uh, house placements and farm placements and stuff like that afterwards because there's a few builds I want to put in here that uh, I'm looking forward to now that uh, we've surpassed a few uh, minor crap in Minecraft and we should be able to have uh, holding cells for the animals so let's see if this works now. Alright so I'll be back in a Alright so you ready for this? Why am? Yeah, it's pretty nice. All nice and kind of terraformed nicely there. Um, so my plan is to bring up houses kind of like closer here in this area here, and uh, maybe have a nice walkway come up here, and then have a few houses like up here, and then have another little walkway. And I was thinking we'll flatten this out a little bit and maybe start doing my farms here. And then uh, then I could put my wall around it, like, I don't know. Or I might put, like, a partial wall, you know, like, uh, kind of like entry gates to the city, to the town, and then have it come around like this and then kind of join in back here. Um somewhere. <laughs> Let's go figure this out. Alright, so this, and I got an idea for this too. I'm going to be changing this a little bit. Um, it's going to be kind of cool. You'll like my idea what I got for this. Um, I'm going to keep my my secret stair entrance, but this is going to go a little bit higher up in the air, and uh, it's going to have a little bit of a funky twist to it. Uh, I'll be for another episode though. Alright, so this wall, I guess, um, <laughs> yeah, you might be wondering, hey man, that's kind of funky. I grew a bunch of trees all right next to each other for wood before I had my tree eaters up, so eventually I'll get rid of that. Um, maybe I should just, uh, never mind the wall and, uh, just kind of do like a little village along the sides here and maybe here. 
now that I'm like looking at it like differently um, and kind of like leave this landscaping the way it is instead of putting my farms up here take away from the castle uh, yeah, 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 I like that better so that I could like make like a main road and then I could put like some houses here like, you know, like, some back streets and a few houses, and maybe I could put one or two up here. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. And then for my farms, I think what I'll do is I'll make, like, a, an entry point here. So I know what I'm going to do with this now. It's going to become my farming area. Um, I'll fix that up. So that way it's... Uh, a little bit more appropriate. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, I'll be, nah, 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 I'm thinking about that. Okay, so first of all, uh, for the village, I'm going to need some cobblestone and stuff like that. So I'm going to go load up some cobblestone. And uh, we'll just go and place uh, some house alignments on uh, where I want to put the houses and stuff. And uh, at the same time, too, I'll probably get this ready and uh, show you what I have in mind for a little farming area here. Since it's pretty kind of open and everything, so. And all I had to do is, all I did was put a wall around it so I can, like, take the wall down and do some stuff with that there. Alright, perfect. Um, yeah, I make some, like, little ponds here, too. I'll uh, get rid of the stone that's in there and I'll replace it with... Uh, uh, some dirt and then I did the same thing over here squared it all off and I think I'll do the same here I'll take out the sand and I'll put dirt instead um, make it look a little nicer alright so I'll be right back alright so are we ready for what I've done to my farming area where I'm gonna put my animals I'm gonna show you now and voila oh yeah looks pretty good so I'm not done the pattern on the outside yet um, I'm still working on that and obviously you can see I've only done one side just because I wanted to see how it looked um, it should look pretty good when I get all the sides done and this right here on the entrance uh, you see where it's all kind of like um, kind of V'ing in between the two I might change those two to a different color, uh, two different types of um, block. I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but just to try to make it like, I don't know, stand out a little bit. Uh, in here, I have a nice little chandelier, uh, which I'm not sure I'm going to keep, <laughs> um, but I'm thinking of it. Uh, up here too, um, see where this little fire thing is up here? I think I'm going to put a chicken farm up there. And that way the eggs can fall down and whenever I go into my farming area, well, I can just, you know, go in and grab them. And eventually when we get hoppers, well, I'll just put a hopper down here and with a, a chest underneath and they'll all just automatically fall there and we'll be all good. Um, for the farms, now, there's like three different types of like animal breeding farms you can kind of do. Uh, one of them is going to be kind of glitchy, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, it was code crafted. Um, it's got like a vertical one, works with trapdoors. And I've tried it on the Xbox too, and it doesn't work very well. So, um, the animals like slow and stagger, and they kind of get stuck between the trapdoors. So, that's pretty shitty but anyways uh, seems to work on the PC very well um, they use it in SMP and stuff like that and it works very well so whatever um, then we got a zoom avoids um, that one I had a little bit of a hard time with just because of the fact that the rail carts didn't always seem to go in the right spot and sometimes they would over travel and I don't know it just kind of seemed a little unreliable um, so we got spawnage in here nice Gonna have to do something about that. Put some more light up. Oh, some more guys spawning over there too. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and with this guy to burn. Um, so that leaves me with one system left that I, I really like. It's a uh, Sagramars. 
Um, he doesn't have a channel no more, or the video's not online anymore, but there is another one. It's uh, another guy did an SMP, and uh, I'll probably put that one in the link in the description when I do build it in here. Uh, I did change it around a little bit. I didn't make it as wide as they had it. Um, I made it a little bit more compact uh, for the return trip anyways. And I'm going to use it in the same way as it is in the SMP. So hopefully it works here. Um, then on the inside here, it gives me a chance to use different kind of wool to kind of like, you know, uh, brighten it up and make it look nice. And maybe I can hide some lighting in there as well. Uh, and hopefully maybe light up the walls a little bit more. That's uh would be nice. So yeah, uh that's that. And then hopefully I can do my cows on this side and my sheep on this side. Um I'm thinking about doing kinda like um some individual cells for just colors as well. That way I can, you know, have some for colors and I think that's what I'll do. Instead of just breeding like uh, a different type of... Yeah, 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 that's what I'll do. Alright, so I'll figure out some kind of sell thing for the sheep. And then that way I can just go and buy it and clip them and gather their stuff. And that way they can't run off and they're always stuck there kind of thing. Um, and then I can fit the other breeding cell back here. So that should be good. It's going to be nighttime soon, so... Um, the pattern on the wall as well is I'm going to make it 3D. I'm going to have it stand out a little bit more so that way I can change on the inside if I want. And the roofs, the roofs of the towers, I'm actually going to put like a peak thing on the top so that way it doesn't look so flat. Uh, it kind of bothers me that it's like flat even though it's going to be kind of like picked like that. It still doesn't look right from a distance. So I'm going to put some nice tops on it, so that should be okay. And my village, I plan to keep on right here. So this is where I'm going to have some of my houses. I set up some plots and kind of did some different designs and sizes for houses. Um, I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to maybe rebuild the houses so they look a little bit more nicer. Um, and then put a nice road going through and joining up with this road here. And then change the road because I don't want to have um, a gravel road. I'll make some other kind of road for them. Oh, interesting. Was that a cow spot? Alright, oh, well, whatever. Maybe it was the cow. You should cook the meat like that. That's too bad I don't. Um, or yeah, it didn't, eh? No, it didn't. That sucks. It'd be kind of cool if it did, though. Um, so, yeah. I think that's my plan for that. Chicken farm on the top. Finish the design on the outside. Make a nice little design on the inside with the floor. And then... I think that's about it, man. I really do. Um, I think that should be a really nice build when it's all done. And then, like I said, um, I'll just have kind of like the outside of my castle to work on afterwards. Um because it is kind of plain looking and you know I could use a little bit more uh, detail to this castle you know like some windows and you know maybe like um, some towers and stuff like that pillars or something you know like just to kind of stand with the wall a little bit or even you know I don't want to do I know a lot of people that sometimes they do kind of like um, you know they use stairs and they make intri intricate patterns going all the way around that looks good for some builds. I don't think it would look too good on this, though. Um, that's just my opinion. But I'll just go with my 3D kind of like standout painting look on this kind of castle, and we'll see how that turns out in the end. So, yeah, that's a bit about it. All right, everybody, that's it for me because I'm off to bed, and work sucks. But you know, hey, that's what you got to do to make the world go around, right? Go to work, pay your bills, come home, eat shit, sleep, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> so everybody take care, peace, and uh, see you next time.